So Syriac, thank you very much for your, uh, your time today. Uh, it's great to be able to talk to an entrepreneur in this space. Um, tell us, uh, as, you look, as you think about M-commerce, uh, what are some of the challenges and opportunities that are playing out for retailers? Getting people through the door is the number one problem for every physical retailer. Why is that the case? Because conversion rates in the physical retail world are actually really good. In the online world, they're not good. Conversion rates are about half a percent to 3% online from going to a website to buying on it. In the offline world, it's 20 to 95%, depending on the category of retail. It's 20% in fashion, it's 50 in electronics, it's 95% in groceries. And uh, it's 99% in quick service restaurants because you don't go to McDonald's and figure out you're not hungry. We asked a simple question. If that's the case, that foot traffic is so critical, then how come nobody ever rewards anybody for visiting a store. Why only for purchases? Why not for visits? And why in the world do you get coupons when you leave the store at a grocery store? Why do you get them when you walk out? So how does mobile play into this? Cell phones can do two things uh, for commerce. One is that you can buy from your cell phone and that's called m-commerce, that's mobile commerce. That's in the very, it's in the very early stages but it's growing fast. But there's a whole different world which is at least equally exciting, which is take the offline shopping experience and turn it into an interactive experience while you're at the store. And that market, to give you, a, a, give you an idea of the size of the market, offline shopping that's influenced by online activity, meaning you go online, check out a product, but then end up buying it in the offline store, in the physical store, that's a trillion dollar market in the United States alone. And that is four times larger than the entire e-commerce market combined, including Amazon's revenue. And the kicker is that it's growing faster. Interesting. So tell us about uh, the Shopkick uh, concept. If foot traffic is so important, and here's the creative spark that needs to come at some point, then how come nobody ever rewards anybody for visiting a store? And the answer is because nobody has a clue that you're there. Right. Because GPS can't do it. Mm -hmm. You can use any check-in app. And you tap on Starbucks, which is two blocks away, and it will accept you as being there. You cannot reward people for being two blocks away because you're just going to spend all your marketing dollars on people that are two blocks away. So in other words, you're going to waste your dollars. That's not going to happen. GPS is a vicinity technology, not a presence technology. Right. So this is the first presence technology. We call it the Shopkick signal. We know exactly which store you're at, even in a mall where there's no GPS at all. And it's so accurate that we know whether we're in this room right now or in the hallway. So now, if you're the chief marketing officer of a large retailer and you want to drive foot traffic, what if you could reward people for coming through the door? I'm a retailer though. I spend a lot of time and effort trying to build a relationship with my customers. And I build rewards cards and CRM programs, everything else. How do I feel about letting a third party like Shopkick into my store? The answer is very simple. Shopkick is not a competition at all to existing rewards programs. In fact, we're a partner to them. We have no interest in, in, in being the, in the middle there. So what we're doing is basically taking the mall concept of multiple retailers working together and driving traffic into one location and bring it to the mobile phone. Best Buy has 35 million people in its reward program and it's huge. What about the other 100 million that also go shopping at Best Buy? But they're not in their program. Shopkick is basically providing an opportunity for them to start communicating with them. Because Shopkick is a program where you earn rewards at multiple stores. It's an alliance. In fact, it's the first one of its kind in America. It's clear that Shopkick has a really powerful um, incentive to drive store traffic. How does it impact brands? It's a great question. So when we started Shopkick, we actually didn't expect uh, to work with brands a lot. We were thinking about retailers and consumers. Turns out, a stool with two legs is not as good as a stool with three legs. So it turned out that Shopkick become, became the three-legged stool of consumers, retailers, and brands. Retailers um, are interested in driving foot traffic. 
brands are interested in, st in starting an engagement with the consumer when they're making their purchasing decision at the store, in standing in front of the shelf. So what we started to do was to let consumers scan barcodes of products that are featured in the Shopkick app. And if the right barcode is scanned at the right store, it will give you extra kicks for doing so. Now, this is so exciting for brands, what Shopkick is doing, that we have 30 big brands working with Shopkick now. Procter & Gamble moved an executive from Cincinnati over to our offices one and a half years ago to help us shape the service for the, from a brand perspective as well. They have never left so far, they're still here. And they're close partners of Shopkick. The same is true for Kraft, that they have been partners from the beginning. And Kraft Foods has been working with us from the very early days on. Now we have Unilever, Disney, HP, Intel, Revlon, Levi's. Um, so all these brands have come on board and are working with us now to work to reach consumers when they're making purchasing decisions. And it's amazing to me how uh, excited consumers are about the engagement with products at the store. So Shopkick really supports the fun of shopping. That's right. Shopkick's vision is to transform shopping into a more personal, rewarding and fun experience for everyone. Any plans to go global? Absolutely. Shopkick is very interested in international expansion. And those markets that are, have large shopping markets that are mature markets where small changes in behavior can have a substantial effect on the bottom line and where smartphone penetration is heavy, those are really good markets for Shopkick. Fantastic. Well, Syriac, thank you very much. This has been a great uh, and very insightful uh, discussion. Thank you. Um, and best of luck in the future. I appreciate it. Thanks.